In this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to something called Timer, which basically enables us to play our animation according to a specific time. So it's another way of control inside ActionScript 3.0 that we can apply to an animation that which we want to play over a sequence of time or we can stop it for a period of time and then let it play. It's very similar to on enter frame. However, unlike on enter frame, it doesn't run according or execute according to your frames per second. You have control over the time. So let's have a look. What I've got control enter, I'm going to test my movie and I've got a very simple bouncing ball animation. And if you select the movie clip double click to enter su enter inside the movie clip so there you have it's a very simple um, animation if some of you are, f are finding this a bit difficult to um, to comprehend go back a step and have a look at some of my previous animation tutorials inside flash it's very very simple i'm just i've just created an animation inside a movie clip called ball and what i want you to do is inside this movie clip i just want you to add another layer you can rename this label this actions and on the first keyframe I just want you to add actions and I just want you to add stop action this will disable our animation from playing so let's just check that works brilliant that's fine that's inside our movie clip instance I want, I want to now bounce back to the main timeline add another layer label this actions and I just want you to enter the following code. So I'm just going to go to window actions. We first need a variable, so we need to say var, and we need a we need a name for that variable. So I'm going to say timer jump with capital J and colon. And what I'm going to say is timer with a capital T. I can scroll down and find it. Or I can say T I M, and there we go. Timer equals new timer and we need to here we need to specify in um, the delay in seconds so and that's in milliseconds so if I type in 3000 that will be 3 seconds and I can say semicolon the next thing we need to do is specify our variable and we need to add an event and what we need to do is add the type which is timer event dot timer the capital all um, uppercase comma jump which is a, another variable and we want to parent these close bracket and semicolon now we want to write a function for the jump so we'll say function jump and we need to say event colon timer event parent these and we need to give a return type of void okay now nothing will happen so far what we need to do is add inside our function I've given the instance name I think I've given the instance name of let's have a look okay I haven't we'll say ball underscore MC instance name and I'm just going to enter the code again and what I'm going to do is say ball underscore MC dot play that's fine and end curly brace now nothing will still happen what we need to do is say enter our variable name so timer jump dot start and close bracket and semicolon and check syntax code contains no errors brilliant we can 
close that by clicking on the top here and press control and enter and what we'll see is there we go it's jumped and three after three second delay is continuing to animate once and then it's going to stop and then it's animated and then it stops now if we want to increase the delay we can go back and type in something like eight or uh, nine so that would be nine seconds if we want to reduce so that would be a second delay and there we have it really cool it's a nice interesting way you can kind of combine this way with using using the on enter frame function and it's a really good way of having more control um, over your animation through using timer